Okay, hi everyone, this is Bonnie Power and this is a LinkedIn profile creator. I just wanted to give you a bonus um, couple of videos just to actually show you the brilliance of LinkedIn so you actually grasp it. So this is um, sort of off the record, it's a bonus, I've just decided to throw it in now and I want to actually show you the real effectiveness of LinkedIn. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of the different, the main areas that I use so that you can start getting a real grasp for, for how I use it anyway. So the very first thing that we'll do, like we've created your profile, which is, um, you know, you, you're more than welcome to get in contact with me, like link up via LinkedIn and then ask me to have a look at your profile if you want some uh, professional feedback and, and an a free appraisal. Um, but let's just go through. So I've got you know you've got your um, title, your name, um, your um, the headline. Um, this is the update section, which anytime you use um, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, it'll give you um, like you can basically send out. So I sent out here a quick um, question on Twitter. And because I've got Twitter connected with LinkedIn, which is another thing that we can show you later on, then it comes up and it'll email everyone and it'll alert everybody on uh, my contacts homepage. Um, so you've got um, all of these details would be put into summarised form once you've created, put in your, your um, past history. Um, so this is the summary section. Um, the recommendations, um, so five people have recommended me. I'd, I'll give another video on actually how to ask people nicely if they can recommend you after you've done a great job for them. Um, that's the, the best time to ask for recommendations is almost within 48 hours of delivering the service. Otherwise people move on in their life and it sort of becomes irrelevant if you ask them a week or a year later, for example. Um, the connections and the websites, the Twitter your account you can use and the public profile, you've made, you've decluttered the URL. And then you've got uh, your, your summary, it's all there. You can add different applications, put in a slide. Don't know if they actually have audio attached to those, which is not very good. But I mean, you, you've got the YouTube channel for that, so you can check that out. Um, but so what I wanna do now is just show you, like once you've done, once you've put your profile up um, and you've got, you've become a member of the groups, now I'm gonna show you the next step. This is really how to leverage LinkedIn. So the very first thing you do is you join groups that are in your industry. So I've joined, as an example, I have joined these groups down down here, um, Career Directors International. So um, like just for example, I'm going to show you this is how brilliant it is. If we click on that, we're going to see all of the people who are in the um, Career Directors International. So these people, this is the lady that heads it, um, Laura, and she is talking about, um, well, she's got a big seminar that she's trying to get people to attend. I think it's in the States. So um, it's not very good for us Australian uh, members, but, you know, she's trying to get in people to go to her summit. Um, so she'll use LinkedIn to sort of um, promote that. Um, Let's see, we can have a look um, at the members. So once you've become a member of a group, you um, will then check out and try and find people who are in your uh, city um, who are members of the same group because it's really good. The whole purpose of social media is to make connections and you can't just have an online relationship with people. At some, at some point, you've got to actually go and meet them for coffee. So start with the people that are in your, in your area. Um, alrighty, so here we go. There's 204 members of the Career Directors International. And as you go down, you can see that all of these people, if there's a, um, if I'm on first degree um, with them, that means that they are my in my connections, in my group. So, um, and I've made it a point to sort of get to know as many people as I can because, um, you know, they're all like-minded. So. Um, yeah, I, I'm just thinking like if I, I would look if, if I was doing this right now, I'd say, is there anyone in my town, Melbourne, who has joined who I want to meet up with? Um, and 
going to say, for example, no. But the, here we go. Look, there's a lady there. She's in South Australia. So, and she's a second degree referral. So, being a second degree referral, what does that mean? That means that somebody who I know know is knows her as well. So this is this lady here, Gail Howard. She is a member. She's in my. I'm connected to her on LinkedIn, and so is this lady here. So, um, and then. If we click on her, we can see her summary and we can see her um, the groups that, that I share with her. So she's actually a really good writer and um, and she's got a lot of, um, you know, done a lot of work and, and contributes a lot on the online community. So I would think, hmm, you know, I wouldn't mind getting to know this lady. This lady, you know, sounds really good. She knows what she's talking about. Um, and see, so she's fixed up her URL, so it doesn't have those codes behind it. She could put in here that her actual website name instead of just leaving it as the personal website. So she's she should say other for that, so that she can get that fixed up. Just little small minor details. Um, she's recommended one lady, so if you're interested in there, you can click on that and check it out. But yeah, you can really get to see a lot. So you can really look at the resume, so to speak, of everybody who you're interested in. Okay, so just say we're interested, I'll have a look at my group. So I'll, I'll just pick another industry, for example. Um, I'll pick someone in the IT industry. We do heaps of work for IT people with their professional profiles and um, their LinkedIn summaries. So um, you can have a look on here, you can have a look at the latest discussions. Now, I'm not part of IT because I'm wanting to enter into the discussions. I'm more on there to read the discuss discussions and actually um, feel the frustration, learn about the frustrations that they're having, the challenges that they're having, so that when I write the resume, I know what they're going through just to deliver their, you know, the expectations that the clients have of them. So um, if I wanted to see who's a member of the Australian IT industry, I'd click on there and I would see there's a recruitment consultant, there's a online education, um, so there's a, an organisation who's made a personal profile. Um, there's um, lots of different people who are on my, like so LinkedIn will show you all the people who you're connected to first who are in the same group, just to show you the, um, the people that, that are already on your connection list. So there's a lot of IT, there's a lot of recruiters on here. So if you're, for example, then if you're in the um, industry, in the IT industry, you get onto LinkedIn, you get onto Australian IT industry, and then you start connecting up with all of these people who are recruiters who've got the jobs. They search LinkedIn daily because they've got, um, they know that people use it for jobs, and that, that means that they can quickly fill the positions fast. So um, yeah, that's that's look and look. There's 25 or more pages of people. Um, so yeah, that is definitely worth having a look at. Um, and then just scoot around. Like you can have a look if you're interested in the jobs that they've got. You know, anyone's got advertised or the questions and answers, um, the activity um, that they've got. You can really just just have a look. You can't break it, so it just means that you can poke your nose in at all these different areas and see, um, learn more about the industries and learn more about the challenges and, you know, you'd do this to your clients, you know, if you if you had your own business, you'd actually become a member of all of the industries that your clients are um, part of and really start interacting with them. They're all on there and they're all probably um, help, um, reaching out for help to solve a problem. So if you're a service provider for, a, for that particular industry, you can then say in a timely manner, yet yeah, I've got a solution, here it is. And all of a sudden you look like you're you know, the trusted advisor because um, you know, you've, you've given up free information in a timely manner and you're using it in the forum that they all use. So that's the good way to get into the LinkedIn and that's the good way to start building your reputation up as the expert. Um, that's just one easy, simple way. So get onto the groups and then start um, start introducing people to to you, um, like you, like to, to um, invite them to connect up with you because you're a member of the same group. Do it now. Um, maybe try and try and get five people. Um, invite five people to to um, connect up with you. 
just say that we're on the same group I'd like to um, to, to meet up um, so there you go I hope this has helped um, this is Bonnie Power thanks very much